Hi guys, welcome back. So um, today we are doing my Project Pan 18 in 2018 update. This is update number two, number dos. Um, I know the setup is a little bit different than where I normally sit, but um, I usually sit like over here. You can kind of see right there, but my light is out that I use for the lighting in my videos. So sorry about that. Um, we're gonna be filming here today. Sorry if I look down, I'm on my second floor and there's someone walking by. So a little bit of distraction. That's why I normally don't face the windows. Anyways, into the products. First product that I used up is, of course, from Buxom. Um, not really a big shock, probably, to any of y'all that know me. I do love Buxom. I know the lighting is hard, too, over here as well. But you can see there was a black line here was where I started. And then this is where I was last update. I did take the stopper out, too, so you can see the stopper is gone and used it up. So it took me about a month and a half to go through one of these. Um, which is sad because <laughs> that's not a long time and I use up buxom glosses so, so much, so frequently. So that's the first one that I used up. Next product that I have is from Lancome. This is the La Base Primer and that's where I started with it in the project and this is where we were last time. I kind of overshot this. I thought that that was how much there was left. There actually there's only like two or three more uses left in this primer. Um, I really enjoy this primer though. This is one of my favorite ones. Yeah, it definitely took me less time than I thought it would. I thought it would take me a couple months and it took me like a little bit over a month to use up. Next product that we hit our goal on is from Becca, um, or Becca. It's the little mini opal, um, powder that we have. I don't know if you can see in this lighting, but yeah, I can see like right here. That is where I hit pan. I'll put a picture up over here. Um, of what it looked like before. So this is actually one that I rolled in. So I had it in the project for about a month. But you can see that there's kind of, there we go, you can see the pan a little bit better right here. There's I'm a... glad we hit pan on it. Definitely was sooner than I was expecting to hit pan on. Um, that's probably because I love it, so I use it a little bit more than I am thinking. Anyways, that is it for the products that I have hit my goal on. So it was only three this month. Um, but that's okay, that's not too bad. We're already two, we're just two months into the project and we're gonna get into the update for the other products that I have been using. So the next product that I have is the Lancome Behind the Scenes um, Eyeshadow Primer. I know it's rubbed off just from like other primers that I used beforehand are kind of more oily. And um, so it kind of rubbed off all of the wording on here. Ignore, I marked <laughs> marked this one incorrectly. Here's where we were when we started with the project. This second line right here. So that's where we were um, last update that we had. So, which I think there was an air bubble. I think that's why it's such a huge one. I mismarked this one. I thought that's where it was, but then I squeezed it one more time and it actually was down here. So this is where we are right now. Next one we got is from LA Girl. It's the concealer, the Pro Concealer HD Color Corrector. And here is where we were to start with. Same thing as like with the eyeshadow primer. I think this one um, had like some type of air bubble in it too, because that's like a huge amount um, to go through in like a month's time. And I mean, maybe I had more acne that month, so I needed to cover up a little bit more than I did definitely more than this month. This month I haven't been getting as much acne. Um, I use it more on my cheeks, but here's where we are now. Maybe you can see right there. So we went there to there. So there's not a lot. If that, I'm hoping this will be done by the next update. So, oh, there's my kitty. Look, say hi kitty. <laughs> um, so next product we have is from Becca, um, another Becca product. It's kind of hard to see with the light. I know, see if this will kind of focus for y'all. Um, this line right here that's kind of hard to see, that's where I had started with in the pan, or the project, whatever this is. This line there is where we were for the update, and then this is where we are now. Now, I know it looks crazy because you're like, wow, you just marked the bottom of the bottle, um, but it's actually not empty. So here you can see there's not a lot of product. See, from the sides, it doesn't look like there's anything in it. Um, but there still is some product. So I'm guessing like a week to maybe two weeks worth of this is left. Um, we'll see how much, how long it'll take up. But I think my next update, this one will be gone too. Next one we have is from MAC. This is the Pro Long Paintwear, Paintwear, Painterly Pot, Pot and Painterly. Oh, <laughs> it's the MAC Pro, Pro Longwear 
paint pot in painterly. Okay, that's a mouthful to say. Um, here's where we are at. Again, I'll insert a picture over here just to kind of see, see where we were from last time. I haven't made as pro much progress as I did from the original to the first update um, just because I've been focusing on the Becca under eye primer or primer brightener. So I don't think I'm going to end like end up finishing this for the year, but I'm going to just see how much I can do. From it Cosmetics, this is the Bye Bye Pores Translucent Powder um, that I put in last project. So you can see here, this is where we started out, like these two lines there, and then this is where we are now. So that's actually pretty good for a powder. I mean, I know I use powder every day, I'm oily. Next guy we have is so frustrating to me. Um, this is a mini of the Benefit High Beam. This is where we started with, that is where we were at the last update. And look at this. You can see this is where we are now, okay? This little line here. There's just the tiniest, tiniest like bit in there. I'm going to turn it this way so you can see. But look at the brush. The brush doesn't even touch the bottom where the product is. Um, so freaking frustrating. And it's probably maybe like two uses, maybe three uses out of this. So I was really frustrated that I didn't already have this finished for this update. Um, but it most like it definitely will for next one. Next guy we got is from Benefit as well. This is the Gold Rush little mini highlighter, um, one of their blush powders that they have. So I'll insert a picture as well of where we were last time. You can't really see, there's like a little bit of a dip in the middle. You can't really make out the words either, um, which last time I know you could like kind of make out the words, but now you definitely can't. So just trucking along. I'm hoping to hit pan on this one. This one we got is from Philosophy. This is the renewed Hope in a Jar skin tint. Um, here is where we started. That is where we were for the update. And this is where we are now. So we're making like super, super steady progress with this. Um, my cat's spazzing out in the back. She just wants to be in all of my videos, I'm realizing. That's what the product looks like. Um, again, this doesn't go all the way to the bottom. It's more like a little bowl inside of this. So it, it, there's probably not a lot left. Um, I'd say maybe about a month or two. Next one we have is from Roma London. So I'm gonna insert two pictures for this um, because which I know it's kind of hard to see again with the light. There we go. So I'm gonna insert two pictures because there was the one of so where we were after the last update. And then I ended up repressing it along with a couple other products um, just because it was on the outside and it was falling apart. And I felt like I was wasting more of the product and not really getting to use a lot of it. And then here is where we are now. So that's really, really good. Um, definitely we'll have this done by the end of the year. Just so hoping to get one more powder out of my collection. I know I have two in this project pan, but your girl that uses some powder. She's some oily, okay? she. I need a lot of powders in my life. The next one we have is from Wet n Wild. So this is the contour and um, highlight one. I already hit my goal in the highlight, which was to hit pan. So we did that last time. So I'm really just now focusing on the contour shade, um, which as you can see from the picture that there is a lot of product that I used up. I definitely have expanded all of this and now I'm actually thinking that I could finish this. Um, made some really good progress. Oh, so I say this and the bronzer just literally just all fell out. Okay, well that's never happened before. Um, I just can't believe that all broke on me. I tried to collect as much of it as I could to repress, you can see there's the pieces I collected. I still feel like I'm missing. I didn't know the bronzer bounced, um, but when it fell, it like exploded everywhere, a hole in my carpet. So I'll have to repress it and give y'all an updated picture. Anyways, let's continue with the update. So here's the next um, product that I have, which I'm excited about. I know it's not a lot of progress, um, but last update I had said that if I didn't get any progress at all, like I did on the previous one, that I was gonna roll this out. This is one of the Tarte, it's like the Tarte glitter liners. It has like a in rose gold. So I'm just painting this side. So, or trying to use up as much as I can. This is where we were in the original start of the project and this is where we are today. So I did make some progress. I'm very excited. I've just been wearing this as much as I can on my days off, like all over my lid. And it's really pretty actually. Um, but I'm so glad that I actually made progress on it to show. Next one we have is from Beauty by Pop Sugar. It is a lip balm. Um, 
So this is how much I have left on that. But you can see right here is where we started. I have it at, a, at an angle because that's how the product is. Um, but that's where we started at nine twos at that angle. And then for 10 three, it is um, right there. So there's not a lot of progress. I'm actually really surprised um, because I use this almost every single day. I mean, it's like a tinted lip balm. It's not my favorite color. It's not my favorite shade, but it does expire at the end of the year. And so I've been like really actively trying to use it up and like, this is how much progress I made. I mean, not bad, but like, shoot, that is still a lot of product right there. Like that's still quite a bit. Um, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes. The next product that I have is a lip product as well. This is the Fiona Styles Bonnie Bray, or no, I'm sorry, Bonnie Bray. Zuma is the name of this one. That's how much I have left. Now I'm like worried I'm gonna have another catastrophe in this video after that first one. Uh, but here is where, on the piece of paper, I'll show you right here. So that's where we are at. Um, this is where we started. And so the beginning of the project on August 1st is when I started this project. And then we went down to 9.2. So I used it a lot in that month. And then here we are, the update. So quite a, like a pretty decent amount, um, but there's still a lot to go for that product. And I'm thinking since it is more like fall time right now, um, that this shade, cause it's more of like kind of a folly shade that I will um, use this up a little bit more and hopefully have it all gone. Maybe not by the next update, but maybe like two updates. So next one we got is from Eight Cosmetics. This is the Brow Power. And let me show y'all where we are at for that. So I haven't been using this as much as I was thinking that I do. There we were at 9.2 and then here we are at 10.3. So we're making like super evenly steady progress. There's still a lot to go. So we'll see like 11, 12. Um, maybe you won't finish this in this year, but just really trying to focus on like one brow pencil versus using like six different ones because I only need one for my brows, right? Last but not least for the products that were originally in the pan, here is my modern renaissance. Um, so we can see tempura over here. There's still like a couple little chunks in the side because um, Vermeer and tempura I repressed. I think I have a picture of like how they originally were and then I'll show a picture of how they looked repressed. Um, but I repressed them just to make it easier to go through. Same with like the Rimmel powder that I had. So, um, which is exciting because now I have used these completely and totally up. So I used up Tempura, I also used up Vermeer as well, which these are the first two shadows I've ever like completely used up. So I'm really excited. It feels really good to have used up um, some of my products like completely. So, and if we go a little bit closer, we can kind of see here, um, Golden Ochre, we hit pan on quite a decent amount of pan as well. I think I actually just, yeah, no, that was my finger. I accidentally just scuffed it with my fingernail. Happens because you can't feel your nails, so you scuff things kind of like this one. I scuffed it by accident. Um, we got a little bit more of a dip in Love Letter as well as in Raw Sienna. Those are kind of the ones I've been focusing on. And then I've expanded pan just like a tiny bit on Bon Fresco, but Primavera, there's a little bit more pans. Last but not least, we have the products that I'm going to be rolling in for the three products that I had hit my goal on. Um, of course, first off, the first one I'm gonna roll in is another Buxom Lip Gloss, duh. Um, since I'd used up one of the Buxom Lip Glosses, I think that one was in shade Destiny. It was kind of a pinky shade. This one is in shade Dolly. This is like my ultimate favorite lip gloss. Um, it's also one of the creams and not the polishes. So this is only after like two, maybe three weeks of use. Um, you can see that's where we are at. So definitely we'll either have this done by next update um, or we'll have at least the stopper taken out too. Next guy that we have, this is gonna replace the Lancome primer. Um, it's by Marc Jacobs. It's just a tiny little mini um, liner. So I finished up the Lancome one a couple days after. So 9.8 is when I rolled out the Lancome one and started with the um, Marc Jacobs. That's where we're at now. So we've already made like a little bit of progress just from when I started this. Um, to when we are now. So that's like about a month's worth. Well, last but not least, um, we have an oldie but a goodie. So this is Urban Decay's All Nighter Setting Spray. Um, one of my all time favorite setting sprays. I love this one. The All Nighter is the best one in my opinion, at least for my skin tone, for making it last, skin tone, for my skin type, um, for making it last all day. So 
This is actually the old packaging. That's why I'm trying to use this one up. I still have two um, that are unopened and unused. So I definitely need to go through this one. This is where we started with. I'm using this to replace the Becca um, highlighter because I I've already gone through two highlighters in this project or hit pan on two highlighters in this project. I'm gonna give y'all a break from highlighters. So thought I'd put a setting spray. This is where we were when I started with this. And then this is where we are now. I think I can definitely finish this up by the end of the year. Um, I just want to get rid of the old packaging because the new one is definitely a little bit more friendly for makeup, makeup hands. All right, guys. So that was the end of my project pan. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Leave comments below what your favorite item to project pan is. Um, I will be doing monthly updates. So stay tuned for next month. Bye guys.